My name is Shakira Narayan, and I am the Chief People Officer for the TTC. Before we begin this morning, I would like to read the land acknowledgement. We acknowledge the land we are meeting on is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people. We also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. This morning, MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving Toronto, is launching their 36th annual Project Red Ribbon campaign, and we are so proud to be able to support them in this very important work. Every year, MAD distributes millions of red ribbons to Canadians across the country to be worn as a visual commitment to sober driving. We all know about the dangers of impaired driving, and transit plays an important role in helping to stop that. For many years, the TTC has helped MAD spread this message with bus advertisements across our fleet. This year, we are once again helping to educate the community and pay tribute to lives that were cut short by featuring photos and stories on the backs of our buses. The photos in this campaign serve as tragic reminders of families who will spend the holidays missing a loved one lost to impaired driving. On behalf of the TTC, I want to express my sincere condolences to those families, many of whom are here with us this morning. Thank you for bravely sharing your stories. Safety is a top priority for us here at the TTC, and we are committed to ensuring the safety of our employees, our customers, and all road users. That's a commitment we make every day, but it is especially important to remember as we get closer to the holiday season. For many years, the TTC has offered extended service on New Year's Eve to ensure that revelers can get to and from their destinations safely. With the holiday season around the corner, now is the time to re-emphasize the message that if you're drinking or impaired in any way, you should not be driving. Take the TTC. To all drivers this holiday season, we have a simple message. When planning a night out, you are never truly ready until you have a plan to get home safely. I want to thank MAD for once again collaborating with us on this very important campaign and wish everyone a safe and responsible holiday season. I'd now like to invite Toronto Police Service Acting Staff Superintendent Kelly Skinner to the podium to say a few words. Thank you, Shakira. Thank you, MAD Toronto, and thank you, TTC, for hosting this extremely important event. It's my pleasure to be here today to help MAD Canada launch its 36th annual Project Red Ribbon campaign on behalf of Chief Myron Demke and the Toronto Police Service. Impaired driving continues to be a concern on the streets of Toronto. And while strides have been made over the past few years to reduce impaired driving, it still remains a deadly problem. As of October the 23rd, the Toronto Police Service has received more than 6,000 calls for service for impaired driving, which represents a 5% increase over 2022. And so far this year, we have had approximately 52 motor vehicle collisions with impaired operation arrests and charges, and more than 2,000 charges related to impaired operations. We know that continued awareness efforts are vital to bring these numbers down, and MAD is commended for their commitment to promoted, promoting sober driving through this campaign for the last 36 years. By generously donating these 25 buses that will travel around the city with pictures of impaired driving victims, the TTC is helping to honor those who have lost their lives while helping keep the sober driving message top of mind for our holiday season. These images are an impactful visual reminder of the need to drive safe and sober on our city streets. And our service is proud to support this campaign 
as part of MAD's year-round efforts in working towards eliminating impaired driving in our communities. We continue to support sober driving in a number of ways, including our ride spot checks and intelligence-led enforcement to help ensure that motorists arrive at their destination safely. Since 1977, the RIDE program has raised public awareness and our service continues to work with government and community partners to increase awareness of the dangers of impaired driving. We are reminding motorists that mandatory alcohol screening will be enforced at RIDE spot checks this season and our officers will be using standardized field sobriety tests. As well, our drug recognition expert officers will be on the road to help protect the people of Toronto from impaired drivers. Ride spot checks are also used throughout the year to assure the public that our service is committed to eliminating impaired driving on Toronto streets. We're also asking residents to help make our roads safe for everyone by dialing 911 to report impaired driving. Everyone has a responsibility to keep our roads safe by ensuring that no one drives while they are impaired or gets into a vehicle with an impaired driver. It's important to remember that community safety and well-being is a shared responsibility. Here in Toronto, there are many options available to get home safely, taking public transit, including the TTC, arranging for a designated driver, taking a taxi, or using a ride-sharing program are your options. Once again, thank you to the members of MAD for your dedication to the cause of reducing impaired driving everywhere. Together we can make a difference and send a strong message to our communities by supporting Project Red Ribbon. Please plan ahead this holiday season and throughout the year, and please don't drink and drive. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Skinner. And I'd now like to welcome OPP Inspector Dave McLagan to say a few words. Good morning. I am proud and honoured to be speaking to you today on behalf of the Ontario Provincial Police Highway Safety Division and to be joined by some of our most valued road safety partners. Having an opportunity to raise awareness about impaired driving, especially just ahead of the holidays, is one that we, the OPP, always welcome and appreciate. Sadly, 39 people have died on OPP patrolled roads in alcohol and drug related collisions so far this year. Over the past five years, from 2019 to now, that number is 303. That number represents a lot of things. 303 human beings who lost their lives, many of whom were not driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs, but who died because someone else was. 303 families who lost a loved one in a collision that was pre completely preventable. 303 times that our collision investigators, other officers, and our emergency partners had to attend the horrific scene of a fatal crash that was attributed to a driver that had consumed alcohol or drugs. 303 instances in which our officers had to knock on a door to deliver the devastating news to the next of kin their loved one was killed in a collision that involved alcohol or drugs. Our officers come face to face with the families of those who are killed in these road incidents under the worst possible circumstances. In due course, the family learns that alcohol and or drugs played a role in the collision that took their loved one's life. They are at a complete loss as to how they will ever be able to accept that their loved one died because someone made the choice to drive after consuming alcohol or drugs. Some of them even feel a sense of responsibility and guilt. They ask themselves if there was something they could have done to prevent this senseless loss of life. It is this question that every Ontario citizen needs to ask themselves. But in the present tense and before someone loses their life in such a tragic way. What can I do to prevent someone from being killed in a collision that involves alcohol or drug impaired matter? If every citizen could see impaired driving through the same lens that we do as police officers and that of our road safety partners, the answer to that question would be clear. First, they would recognize that alcohol and drug impaired driving are among the most dangerous and deadliest of crimes on our roads. They would not know that these type of collisions are not accidents, but rather situations in which a driver makes a conscious decision 
to get behind the wheel after consuming alcohol and or drugs. They would know that it takes more than police enforcement and public education to end impaired driving on our roads. While these are effective deterrents, the actions and intervention on the parts of citizens play a critical role in keeping these dangerous drivers off of our roads. These citizens' actions are practical within everyone's reach and they unmistakably contribute to saving lives. What does that look like? Plan for a safe ride home from a party where you're going to be consuming alcohol or drugs. If you're hosting a holiday gathering, ensure your family, friends, and colleagues have a safe ride home or invite them to stay the night. Don't hesitate to call police if you see a suspected impaired driver on our roads. Those who have lost loved ones in impaired driving related collisions will tell you that taking measures such as these are a small ask in contrast to potential consequences. It cannot be overstated how powerful this public engagement and influence is in our communities to deter people from driving while impaired. It doesn't matter if a driver is impaired by alcohol or drugs, impaired is impaired. And under the law, they carry the same penalties. Our officers are well equipped and trained to detect and investigate impairment in drivers. Standardized field sobriety testing and drug recognition evaluations remain effective tools for drug detecting drug impaired drivers. Motors are reminded that mandatory alcohol screening gives police the authority to demand a breath sample even if there is no evidence or suspicion that a driver has consumed alcohol or drugs. What this means is that the OPP and our policing partners have never been better positioned to save lives on our roads this holiday season and throughout the year. As we head into the holiday season, we are counting on, our, on people in our communities across the province to help us make this the safest one yet. I would like to thank Mothers Against Drunk Driving and our road safety partners for their hard work and commitment to help make Ontario roads as safe as possible through important initiatives like Project Red Ribbon. On behalf of the OPP, please enjoy the holidays. Thank you for doing your part to help save lives on our roads. Thank you. Thank you, Inspector McLagan. I would now like to invite Toronto Paramedic Services Deputy Chief Jamie Murdett to the podium. Thank you, Shakira. Good morning, everyone. I'm honoured to be here this morning to represent Chief Vikram Chawla and Toronto Paramedic Services and to help launch the 36th annual Mad Red Ribbon Campaign. I myself have worked as a paramedic and like many first responders, I chose this, this profession to make a difference and help others in our community. With the privilege of service comes the burden of bearing witness to the tragedies of impaired driving, whose victims include mothers, fathers, sons, daughters, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, and all the loved ones who are left behind to grieve these unspeakable losses. These tragedies affect our emergency telecommunicators, frontline paramedics, allied first responders, and our partners in healthcare. This immense pain is amplified by the sudden, tragic, and preventable nature of these losses. It happens far too often. Impaired driving continues to impact the lives of thousands of Canadians every year. Let's let today serve as a poignant reminder to make responsible choices throughout this holiday season and beyond. The risks of impaired driving, whether it be by drugs and or alcohol, are severe and the consequences are real. Please support MAD Canada by tying on a red ribbon or by uh, wearing a red ribbon pin this holiday season. This is a small yet powerful symbol of your commitment to sober driving and a tribute to those impacted by impaired driving. Please plan ahead, spend the night, have a designated driver, or find a safe ride home using transit, a ride share app, or taking a taxi. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Chief Burnett. And I'd now like to welcome Toronto Fire Deputy Chief Larry Coco to the podium. Thank you, Shakira. Good morning, 
I'm here today on behalf of Fire Chief Peg and Toronto Fire Services in support of MAD Canada's 36 red annual red ribbon campaign. For 36 years, the red ribbon has been and remains a powerful symbol of the commitment to driving sober and a tribute to the thousands of Canadians that have been permanently injured or lost their lives as a result of impaired driving. As first responders, Toronto Fire Services has too many times responded to a motor vehicle accident that has involved alcohol and or drugs. The outcome of these accidents are tragic for the victims and devastating for the loved ones and family and friends that are left behind. Motor vehicle accidents that involve, impaired, involve an impaired driver are 100% preventable. It just takes some planning on the part of the motorist. Stay the night, designate a sober driver, use public transportation, take a taxi, book a vehicle for hire. There's lots of solutions and options available. So on behalf of Fire Chief Peg and the entire Toronto Fire Services team, we wish everyone a safe and happy holiday season and encourage Torontonians to plan ahead when enjoying the, festi the festivities of this holiday season. Thank you. And thank you, Deputy Chief Coco. I'd now like to welcome MAD Toronto Chapter Director of Victim Services, Carolyn Swinson, to the podium. Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to MAD Canada's 36th Annual Red Ribbon Campaign. Uh, one of the things that this morning that is really hard for me to listen to is the number of people that have been killed and injured in the last little while. And it's, uh, and it's a stark reminder of why we still have to keep doing this every year and why we plead with people that please don't drive impaired over the holiday season. At this time of year, many people are starting to go out to parties and holiday events, so we were asking people to display a red ribbon to show that they're going to plan ahead and not drive impaired. The pictures on the buses are a sad reminder of just a few of the victims who will not be coming home this holiday season and will be missed by families that love them, families that will always have that empty seat at the dinner table. And this, this year, due to the generosity of the TTC, we will have extra buses on the road. We will have 27 buses in all with different pictures of families on the back, as well as PSAs in all the stations and the three special buses that we have here, which, as you can see, says a mother's love is irreplaceable, a stark message to, and, a, and, a, and a poignant reminder. Um, that there will be three of those buses on the roads. And um, so we're grateful that the GTC is sharing our commitment to keep our roads safe, and we're very grateful for the support. I would also like to thank all the amazing staff of the TGC, especially Adrian Grundy and Stephen Cartiano for helping and work so hard to help this uh, event happen. I realize, we do realize that it's a major issue to move all the TGC buses around in the morning and we're very grateful for that and we're, we thank you for, for helping us get this message out. And I'd also like to say thank you to all the speakers this morning. It's so important to have you here and sharing that message with us, and, uh, and we are very grateful that you're here and joined with us and to share that message. We know that as first re responders how difficult it is when you're called out to impaired crashes where somebody's being killed or injured and have to deal with the aftermath and having to deal that message to families, to somebody who's not going to be coming home again. And so we are very grateful and, and as usual, Dignity Memorial is, is always supportive of Madam. We thank them for the beautiful wreath that they shared this morning. But the biggest thank you this morning goes to all the families who are here today who have been kind enough to share the pictures of their loved ones. And I can tell you that even after so many years, when I come and I see that picture of my son, 
the tears still come to my eyes. And I think it's just, um, it's, we, and we hope that when we see, people see the buses on the road, it will be a reminder to them that please, we want them to drive sober this holiday season, and we want everybody to be coming home safely. And to close off this morning, I would like to invite the president of the Toronto chapter of MAD, Bob Corot, to share his story with you. A powerful message as to why we are all here this morning and why you should never drive impaired. Thank you, Bob. Hello, everyone. My name is Bob Corot, and I'm the president of the Toronto chapter of MAD Canada. And I'm very honored to be here with all of you today as a participant in this important impaired driving awareness program with our generous and like-minded sponsors at the TTC, our partners at the police services and the paramedic service and the fire service, thanks for being here. To begin with, and as a critical message of the awareness program, I'd like to share with you a short story about my son, Robert. <clears throat> three years ago, three years ago, just last week, Robert was out for a morning run with colleagues, friends from Rosso Lake College where he was head of school. Robert lived on campus with his wife and four children. And I understand that the run that morning began with some playful insults to each other about each other's newly sprouted mustache, which they were growing as participants in the Movember Challenge. And before long, I imagine the talk would have covered some hockey news, some family updates. I imagine the talk would have covered <clears throat> education and philosophy. Those were subjects that the three of the <clears throat> colleagues shared. And they were just heading out of the sleepy village of Rosso. They had just started the run when an impaired driver came through. Came through the town center at high speed. <clears throat> and he struck Robert mid-stride, killing him instantly. I know you can imagine the sorrow, the grief, the grief that ensued, sense of loss for his family, for our family, for his friends, for the students and staff on campus, for people in that little village. This didn't have to happen. It wasn't an accident. The driver that morning made a decision to get in that car, even though he was impaired. And his blood, al blood alcohol was at a very high level, <clears throat> and yet he still thought it would be all right to drive. And that decision, that reckless and irresponsible decision took the life of this innocent, and beautiful man. And my son's story is just one story, just one story, one so oh, oh so tragic story. Mm -mm. But there are so many stories. Hundreds of Canadians are killed and thousands are injured every year. I'm sure that you, like me, find that shocking and unacceptable. So the holiday season is here with us, and it's a very busy time. And the risk of impaired driving is high. And Project Red Ribbon reminds us all about the importance of always driving sober, or planning ahead for a safe ride by using the TTC, or rideshare, Uber, taxi, designated driver. We ask you to be responsible. I ask you to be courageous. To be the person who speaks up when you suspect somebody may be getting impaired, <coughs> getting behind the wheel impaired. 
Every time you prevent somebody from driving impaired, you could be saving life. Like, a life like my son Robert's. <laughs> Thank you very much. I would like to thank Bob for sharing his story today and Carolyn for your earlier words as well of reminding us why this campaign is so important and for personalizing it for all of us. The TTC is proud to support MAD's 36th annual Project Red Ribbon campaign. Before I close, I would like to give a big shout out to the team here at Wilson Garage for all their hard work in staging today's event. Team, you always go above and beyond for Project Red Ribbon, and your work is truly appreciated. Finally, thank you to all of our guests for joining us here today. As a mother, I know it touched me, as I'm sure it touched all of you and those who are watching. So if I could ask that all of the guests please join us up here on stage or at the podium. <laughs> for a photo with the red ribbon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.